Oh man. It's hot. Allie? Allie. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? It's five o'clock somewhere. What? Hey, um, it's hot out. There's work to be done. Have you seen the thermometer? It's like 90 degrees. I don't work in that. That's awesome. That's just great. Well, why don't you come take a dip in my little kiddie pool? That's not a bad idea. I'll be right back. We're in Clearwater tonight. I'm Allison Morrow. Hi, I'm Allison Morrow. I'm Allison Morrow. And I've gone to a lot of places. On St. Pete Beach, Allison Morrow. And now with my former Force Recon Marine husband, I'm going off grid ish. Lynn just said that I wear these glasses when I think I'm in charge. I am not strong enough to carry the bigger pieces. They're four by six by two, 10. Four by, four by six by 10 feet. They're really heavy, but Lynn's a beast, so I don't have to. The day has finally come. We are actually starting to construct and build things versus tearing things apart. Today, we've got most of the materials that we need to build our gantry crane that's gonna enable us to lift this part of the airstream up off the frame so that then we can begin the frame repairs and the painting of the frame to then put it back underneath, do the subfloor and reattach the superstructure. So, I'm gonna direct you to my little diagram here. We went to Home Depot today, uh, one of our favorite places to go, right next to Ace Hardware or Lowe's. Definitely go there with only the amount of cash you want to spend because uh, if you're tempted to put it on the card well <laughs> you may get more than what you uh, bargained for today we picked up about six uh, four by six by ten timbers uh, we picked up about five or six uh, two by sixes by tens so that's two inches by six inches by ten feet uh, and so that's going to be the bulk of what we're using to make the gantry crane. I have also ordered from Amazon uh, two chain hoists, two one-ton chain hoists, which are going to be more than enough, more than adequate to be able to lift this off. So you'll see on our diagram here we have our outside and the inside of the same leg depicted. So on the outside I'm going to have this three-quarter inch piece of plywood supporting it. On the inside we're going to have that metal T-bracket basically that's going to be attached to that. So we'll attach that first then we'll flip it over, we'll put the plywood on there, and it should be pretty secure. We're gonna cut ourselves a five foot uh, base. We're gonna take a 10 foot upright. So without further ado, let's get to cutting. I kinda had a sneaking suspicion that was gonna happen. She went from eating grass to rolling in the grass. It's a dog's life. Chaka. Hey, Chaka. Chaka. Go on. Yeah, good girl. Hey, my girl. Yeah, my girl. Yeah. And a little trick somebody once taught me. When you're going to start a screw, is starting off actually in reverse and then going into forward. So it gets it exactly where you want it. 
just want to add to that today is our wedding anniversary. Duh. So feel free to leave us a comment about how crazy you think the two of us are that we are building this on our wedding anniversary. However, one person did comment on my Facebook page that there is no better way to celebrate your wedding and marriage than to work on your nest that you're building together. Right, honey? You're going to call it a nest? Well, more like an osprey nest. Osprey less, nest. Less of a barn swallow. So grab this screw, grab the driver, put it in that hole right there. I think we're about ready to tip this thing up. So that's essentially the idea of it. Not like this, not like this, but this needs to be parallel to the ground. That makes sense? So it needs to be parallel to this line and parallel to the ground. Am I okay? Yep, keep going. So you may have to push it in and come out a little bit so that it clears out the, the wood. Do a little more gas. Keep going, it's fine. That's the sound of the ratchet. There's a different sound when it's stripping out. Keep going. Perfect. That was perfect. Yeah. You're gonna have to get used to it. Wait till we start building. I just off. don't know. Like, Do you see how many screws noises that noises mean? It's like one noise is good and one noise is bad, and it's just gonna. How do you tell the difference? guys keep going keep going. perfect perfect that? here all right so that's pretty stable now um, got our plywood supporting it on that side. We've got our T-bracket on this side. Multiple lag bolts in it, so it should be all right. Now we've got our three more to do like this, and then we can attach the um, actual gantry part going across the beam. See right there, that's about as good as you could get for being at a 90. What are you doing? What are you doing, Jagger? Well, I would just like to say that you did get screwed on your anniversary. I did screw you. I screwed something. I screwed something wow. on our anniversary. Luckily, we only have one more cut to do on the uh, four by sixes. The and then, first cut is the deepest. I think I'm going to make her do it. The first cut is the deepest. Oh, the soulful sounds of the 70s with Alice. Cheryl Crow did a remake of it a few years ago. Yeah, but Maybe it's like still... 10 years ago. Back when she was married or dating Lance Armstrong, before the whole... After the Rob Lowe thing. Wasn't, steroid, wasn't she with Rob Lowe? It, I don't know. To the man's credit, he did have cancer. To the man's credit, he probably still would have been a really great athlete regardless. And there's mm. no way if you shot me up with steroids, 
I would ever do the Tour de France. So we're gonna continue with the video tomorrow and you're not gonna notice anything because it's gonna start right now. Scene two, now we're taking the gantry apart. Why? Because you may have seen in one of our previous videos, I quit my job, got a new one, and we're moving. The Airstream is only halfway done. We just finished building this gantry so we could lift it off the frame. We hadn't lifted it off the frame yet, thank God. But now we cannot transport the gantry with us over the Cascade Mountain, so we are now going to completely, what, what's the word? Disassemble. Disassemble the gantry. Good times, gotta love Airstream renovations. Completely unpredictable and it will never follow orders. not feel good, but I got it off. Okay. We should put in the clip of uh, from Short Circuit where Johnny Five is like, no disassemble. No disassemble. No disassemble Johnny Five. Lynn and his movie quotes, always trying to get me hammered for copyright violations. This is truly insanity. I had to borrow a pillow for this project. Hey, Bunny. How you doing? Not doing too good since you're laying on me. Oh, well, otherwise my neck would really hurt. Thanks for taking one for the team, Bunny. I didn't really have a choice. You might say this move came at somewhat of an inopportune time. If you said that, you would be correct. But, oh well. Can you imagine us trying to take this gantry on the highway? That would be amazing. We're crazy, but we're not that crazy. Oh, ow. <laughs> Ouch. Where Chaka is, see what she's doing to help with the move. Hmm, going inside now. Up, oh. Chaka, you're supposed to be helping with the move. Hello, what do you think it is? Break time, nap time. I am woman, here we are. Where do I put it here? Oh, uh, yeah, no, that one put all the way on the other left side. Are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gotta make the cut. You should do the whole <laughs> when you said that. Bye bye, Gantry. It was nice knowing you. We'll see you when we decide to recreate you sometime. In all honesty, I don't think it's going to set us back that far. Um, I think that hopefully if we luck out, the place where we are able to relocate to will actually give us some more room because if you look where the Airstream's parked right now, it would have been a bit of a pain when I set up these gantries, which is why I had to make the wheel carts for them. So if we're able to get a place that has a little bit more space and a little bit more flatter ground for us to set up the gantries, it's gonna make life a lot easier. Plus, I'm looking forward to not dealing with another winter of these trees. So, 
No, I feel like it's a good thing for us. I I'm just glad we were delayed in taking the skin off the frame and all that stuff. Yeah, so we're moving over to the east side of the mountains, which is sunnier, but snowier, uh, because out here in the Seattle area, it just rains all winter. Over there, there's a lot more sun, but it's colder. And so we'll be dealing with snow during our renovation, which should be interesting. But like Lynn said, maybe we'll find a place with a lot more land and room, so it'll be easier to do what we need to do. So uh, if this hasn't enticed you to subscribe to our circus, I mean, YouTube channel, then I don't know what will. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.